Matthew. Are you booking your Matthew? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. From verse nine. This is our great lesson today. Kito toyar na yebu si alikon. Endurance. Are you willing to face a hotel or a hotel? You are determined by how far you endure. We na o se willing so na kau re udile o fita kai. When you endure, how hotel is it? Because you are sure of the destiny. Oh, pane ona lebo ne te babu yo. You have got a clear visions. Ona lepo no e bona halau. These are the times. Where hatred will be everywhere. The Bible says you'll be handed to tribulation. You won't decide to find yourself there. There will be a situation that you will find yourself there. And the Bible says. And the Bible says. Because of the situation of the hatred, many will be offended. There will be many offenses. I can tell you that it's already started. And this is supposed to happen in the end. In other words, we are in the end. There will be offenses. We will look at each other and blame each other. Christian community is also affected. We are pointing at each other with fingers. But we need to know that if we hold on, enduring at the end, there will be salvation. Things are coming your way. To challenge what you believe in. Why the Bible says. Why Bible iri? Those who shall endure. It means there are tough times. That will need you to maintain. What you have received. If you don't endure. It is possible you can alter. How you do your things. Your Christianity will change. The way you pray. Whatever you are doing. Because you won't be trusting the one who is supposed to be trusted. There will be a fall away. There will be a fall away. I want to tell you what is going to affect us. It's the promises. We need to be careful. That we are not supposed to focus on our promises. So that you will be able to endure. Let's allow the promises to be fulfilled. By God's time. Without looking on them. If not. We will find another way. Of getting those promises. This is the time. That God have to give us strength to maintain the same level of our Christian life. Because temptations are coming. James 1 from verse 3 to 4 endurance is there as a process that makes us mature in the things of God. There's no peace around you. Peace must be found inside. There's nothing in this world that can give you peace. Peace must be found inside you. Peace must be found inside you. Not outside of you. If you are searching for peace around you, you'll be disappointed. You'll be offended. Allow 
that the testing of your faith which produce endurance must lead you to inner peace. Can I tell you this? Whatever you are facing is not there to destroy you. It's there to test your faith. To test your faith so that you develop endurance. Out of that endurance there is peace that surpassing all understanding. Peace that surpassing all understanding. People won't understand why you are laughing. People won't understand why you are, understand why you are going through this. But you know that you can see what God has promised. That what you are seeing is coming your way. People around you, they are limited. Endurance tests you that your eyes can see what God has promised. I see what God has promised in your life but the present situation is telling you that it's over with you. That's why there's a rejection that you are going through. That's why there's a tough time that you are facing right now. But it's there so that you endure. He who endure will have a perfect peace. Will have victory. I assure you. As I assure you. I'm telling you that for today what you cannot see in the spirit you will see it. What God has promised it will come your way in the name of Jesus. If you believe shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I found that what devil wants to do he just wants to give you attention. He, he wants to take your attention and give you a direction. He wants you to focus on the situation not to focus on God who has given you a promise. He's making you to look on things that are not happening than the person who can create things that is said that it will happen. There are some people who are here today you are focusing on things and you are saying there is no way out. But I am here to tell you there is a way out. Because your God has already created what devil thinks you want to receive. I am here to tell you that what God has promised he will fulfill it. You just need to maintain your Endurance is for a while. Endure for a while. It's for a while. Tell them it's for a while. What the devil is doing around is for a while. You are about to go through. You are about to break through. You cannot sit down and complain by what the devil is doing. Because God is about to open a door for you if you believe shout hallelujah. What the devil wants to do to do. He, he wants you to look at your stagnation. He wants you to look at the opposition. He wants you to look at what people are saying that what God is doing. Sometimes God will allow you to go through that. It's for a testimony. I say it's for a testimony. Romans 5 verse 4 Endurance brings proven character it is something it position you to be presented fit for what God wants to give you there are some people here you are rushing very quickly don't rush. Allow those chains to chain you. The day when you are free from the chain, no one will stop you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Don't worry about the delay. It is just there. Just to cook you. Just to deal with you. There are some things that God is removing from you that are not fit because of what God has asked 
sign you for. That there's a purpose of God in your life. Are you hearing me? That, that God will never allow you just to take it before he deals with you. When you are done left and right, when you look like it's over, sometimes when, when God is dealing with your friends, begin to turn away because they are not fit for what God is about to do where you are going. Listen to this. Sometimes you need to accept a rejection from the people you thought they would help you because they are not fit. You don't need them where God is taking you. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't need you. I don't need you. I need my God. If you can't help me now, you cannot help me in the future. There are some fights because there are some people you don't need them. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are some disappointments because there are some people you don't need them there. There are some people you don't need in the future. If you are hearing me say I hear you. So don't try to try to make them to understand you. If they are rejecting you right now don't lose your character. Be yourself. Just endure. God is about to assign you. He's about to bless you. He's about to lift you. He's about to raise you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Romans 15 verse 4. Roma 15, 4. If you have not endured, you so can have you. confidence. Amen. If you have not felt pain, you are always afraid of pain. I don't know if you are hearing me. But whatever that is happening to is to teach you to have endurance. Your faces are telling me you are going through a lot. Just endure, you will smile. Just endure, you are going to smile. Very soon you will be smiling. I say very soon you'll be smiling. Don't, don't lose your character by what has really bothered you. This is what we know. One to three. Chapter two. Yes. Chapter two, one to three. I want us to read that verse. We know it. We know the verse. Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter. Chapter 2. Chapter 2, Rebellion 1, one yeah, 2, one, two three. 3. I will stand at my guard post and station myself on the tower. And I will keep watch to see what he will say to me and what answer I will give as his spokesman. When I am reprov reproved, then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and engraved it plainly on clay tablets so that the one who reads it will run. For the vision is yet for the appointed future time. It hurries towards the goal of fulfillment. It will not fail even though it delays. Wait patiently. For it, because it will certainly come, it will not delay. Yesterday I was, I was live with our third church. And one man asked a question like this. <laughs> he said, if a prophet prophesy you, and then nothing happened, is he a false prophet? Is he a false prophet? So I explained to that man, I said, it might be meaning that the time has not yet come. Because if the prophet said this is going to happen, it makes you to have confidence. Your Christianity starts to change. 
you start to develop confidence. If you, pr you will pray one hour, you will pray two hours. And I also said, and I said, if you blame a prophet, how solemn prophet? I also blame you. Why you went there to be prophesied? How can you say this man is the prophecy gave me is false? It, it means even you, you were false. You, you lose faith. You lack faith. And you set your time. At that time, where God you. has set his own time. Look at this prophet. But the time of this prophet, there was a lot of commotion. Everybody was just saying, but why things are like this in why Israel? Israel? Look what is happening here. We are suffering. He went to say, God, tell me what to tell you. And God said, hey, write this vision down. Because if you say it, things will happen to make them to forget again. It was written down and placed there. Whoever passes there will read it that the situation is going through is bound to change. I don't know if you're hearing that. After this service, I want you to write something down. I don't know if you're hearing me. I want you to write something down. Because I was supposed to be writing it for you. So that when you read, you know that this is going to happen. So write it down. So You write it down. What you are writing, it will happen. Just endure for a while. Just endure for a while. I don't know if you are hearing me. Just endure for a while. So you will forget what you were going through. In Hebrews 10, verse 36, endurance makes you to enjoy to the full what has been promised. Endurance demands patience. Don't rush things. Don't rush things. Don't rush things. The preparation when it's longer it determines your calling to be bigger. The longer the preparation, the bigger the destination. Just endure and see what God will do. Sometimes you don't need to change business you're doing. You move from this one, you come to this one. Stick on one thing. Endure all. And there will be a way out. People who succeed and stay there are those who have endured some pain, some challenges, some shame. Went through a shame. If you want to stay there, allow whatever you are going through. Allow it to go through. And go through it. Accept it. Don't worry about it. Enjoy it. It's not a problem. It's a program. You will pass through. I see you passing through. I see you passing through. What you are going through is preparing you. Don't worry about this. Enjoy it. Be part of it. And very soon, God will allow.